In Egypt, we have 26 United Nations agencies that work on the ground. Uh, plus, we have, you know, uh, three or four more non-resident agencies. And we all partner with the government of Egypt so that Egypt achieves and uh, accelerates the achievement of the sustainable development goals. The first one is focused on people, people having access to quality services, education, health and also social services. Second one is on prosperity, working and supporting the micro and small enterprises, also supporting inclusive economic development and uh, supporting economy that creates decent jobs. Uh, the third pillar is of course on environment, environment, natural resource management and also uh, climate change adaptation and mitigation. And the last pillar, and we are one of the few countries in the region that has a special pillar on women, women and girls, empowering women and girls. So in Egypt, we have uh, identified who are most in need. And the most in need, uh, these are mainly women living in rural areas, children that come from families where the parents are not uh, well educated, poor families as well, migrants and refugees are among this group. And uh, we also uh, have uh, uh, young, uh, young people uh, that are less educated in this group. Expectation for COP27, I think, you know, there is a high expectation because the most important what this COP27 needs to do is to keep the hope of people that the climate agenda has not been abandoned because currently the world is facing, you know, multiple crises, geopolitical, local crisis. So the COP, the main purpose will be to keep this COP. Uh, so that people know that there are things that work on the ground, that's why it's a COP on implementation. It will uh, put the focus on delivery of all these promises, also you know, take a, a, a track record of where we stand with the pledges. And uh, one thing which uh, the developing countries uh, will expect most, uh, this is loss and damage. Indeed, together with uh, loss and damage, financing has been, you know, in the agenda for uh, a number of COPs now. Uh, because uh, uh, back in 2015, the developed countries promised the 100 billion, and the 100 billion not yet there. Uh, so in Glasgow last year, there was an agreement that by 2024, the countries will reach this first, uh, 2025, this first, uh, first hundred uh, billion, and then they will move uh, with this every year. So at this COP, uh, there will be an effort uh, to understand where we stand with the hundred billion. That's number one. But what uh, is more important, uh, because this 100 billion is nothing, right? Uh, we know that we need financing at scale. We need, you know, from billions, we need to go to trillions if we are serious about uh, fighting climate change and in, indeed, you know, flipping, um, flipping uh, the whole dynamics. Uh, so what we expect from this COP is actually to start working on the new goal for financing. Uh, and I know that there is already work going on in the negotiators' room around, uh, uh, you know, coming up with a with a common definition on uh, climate finance, and then starting to draft and reach out to countries to agree on the new goal uh, for the climate finance, which of course will not be achieved now. But what is important is that the scope shows progress, shows progress across the four tracks mitigation, adaptation, finance and loss and damage. The only thing that, uh, that I would like to add will be a call for solidarity. We need solidarity, we need to rebuild the trust between the developed and the developing countries because without this we will not be able to fight climate change and we will not be able to save our planet.